How y'all feeling? How we reeling, man? We feeling trained up? We feeling suited up, man? We feel like we ready to go? We ready to go? We ready to go? All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. You got to feel good right now, man. Keep your blood flowing, man. Keep the water flowing. And remember, man, keep the fire burning, man. We actually going to do something a little different today, man. We going to come with a live. This is live, man. We going to come with a live press the hour, man. If you don't get those press the hours, man, you're missing out, man, because we are already on the press the hour number 30 in the ether, man. You're tuning in to 432 The Drop Radio. You already know we dig on the press the, press the John hour at least three or four times a week, man. And by the time I tally up all that drop, you know what I mean, then I can come back and share it with y'all, man. But you want to get it right off the press, man, hot, right out the oven. Make sure you're tuning in to the live ether. Press the hour drops 9 o'clock Pacific, Monday through Friday, man. Over there, 432thedrop.com, man. Go dig on it. You got the new hoodies dropping, man. Let's go. Drop Nation, man. So, yeah, man, we got a whole new company, letters and all that, man. Whole host feels good, man. So, you know what I mean? This is 2.0. We got the uh, Who is Presta John shirts coming in, hopefully by tomorrow, man. So you'll get those order links. Uh, I'll do a whole drop just for that, man, so you can support that. Support what we do, man. Support the ether. Keep the lights on, man. Keep the water flowing. And yeah, so we got one shirt dropping that says, Who is Presta John? Drop, hashtag Drop Nation. Hashtag Drop Nation, man. So, Who is Presta John? Hashtag Drop Nation. The other one says, Dragons on the Wall. Hashtag Free Phineas. Free Phineas. Free Phineas, man. The big homie. In captivity in Fort Tryon State Park, there's an actual dragon in captivity. They raise money for the captivity of this dragon, now known as the Templeton Dragon Fund, traded as TDF on the New York Stock Exchange right now. They raise money for the captivity of a real dragon. You know, we're just talking Phineas the Negro, the Naga, but let's go. This is Preston John. What are we on, man? This is Preston John. Are we on 35? Let's go, man. Let's keep going, man. Love to tie battle. Love to the battle family, man. Look at that, man. Who is Preston John? It only makes sense, man, to kick off Preston John 35 right in your face, bone. It's always live to me, man. We live, man. Let's go, man. We live. Let's go. Great, uh, great source, man. And we were fumbling through this thing, man, through a PDF of it that was all just chopped up. Ty Ballard said, man, I'm tired of seeing drop, get mad, because pages are missing. This book cost over $100, man, on uh, Amazon, I believe, man. So this is another great addition to the Drop Library. We appreciate you, Ty Ballard. She also dropped uh, the complete essential oils and all that, man. So I'll... I'm digging on my oils. Watch out for them drop oils coming, dropping soon, man. We got a land full of cedar. We got a land full of uh, all the sweet fragrances, man. So look out for those oils for the community. Keep supporting Pop Gold and the King's Oil. You can get that in the drop shop. Support Aqua V's hair, shade, body, butter, all that. And make sure you support that Aqua V. Go for me. Get the sister back on the road again. Keep the water flowing for the stewards. Keep the water flowing for Jay Stu and K Stu. Let's go, man. Press the John. Now, this is a nice uh, compendium here, you know what I mean? A nice compilation. And they ain't playing. They got sources, you know what I mean, from letters in the 1200s all throughout. Everybody's talking about the Negro King. Everybody wants to know who's Press the John. I mean, what type battles say? Who is Preston John? Are you Preston John? Yes, you are Preston John. Let's go. And they ain't playing, man. They got one picture that I've seen so far of Preston John in this book. They got one picture, man.
Any questions? Any questions? All right. Now that we got that out the way, we're just talking about the last noble image of the Naga, who happens to be a knight. Naga. Knight. Where is your sword, my Naga? Because Prester John got a sword. See the Templar cross. We just talking north, south, east, west. Intersecting lines. Dragon lines. What are the knights protecting? Who is Prester John? And why does it say in Hosea 3 and 5 that the sons of Israel will wake up, seek their creator, their breath, their <gasps> wow. Left a high bar. I love how he breathes the creator's name because in essence, it's not even a ha or a hey. That ah is an inhale. It's a breath. When I say take a breath, when you look at the picto and you see the hey or the ha, it's breath. How do you take a breath? Naga, go. Take a breath. Right, that's what I thought. You inhaled that breath. You, <gasps> ah, it's a revelation. It's breathing, man. Every breath you take is your mama. It's, <gasps> and you get that strong power, that Aleph, that L, that Aleph, going into that house, that tent. Then you got the walking, right? We got the walking. You go through the door. First one that greets you is your mother, wisdom, <gasps> revelation. <gasps> and then that sixth letter of the Hebrew is the wah. You burn it down, dragon fire, smokeless fire, laser fire. We're just talking Eleazar, but who is Preston John? <laughs> so if you tell me you got a Messiah, I say, what's your Messiah's name? You tell me his name is Joshua. I say, well, which one? If you say, well, that one, I'll say, well, that one. And this one is rocking at the same time. There are no BCs. They've added over a thousand years to you, Negro, just to fit in another Joshua, specifically to fit in another Joshua. So you say you got a Messiah. I say, well, what's a Messiah? And how many has Israel had? And why are you stuck on one guy that's been taught to you after they brought it to you with a papal bull, Doom Diversus in 1452? Who's your Messiah, man? Are you talking savior or messenger? Because Israel has many messengers. Moshe, Joshua, who was Prester John, who was Kitsukoto, who's led you to the promised land. I didn't say who made a promise to come back in thousands of years to free you. I said who actually led you to the land. And why does Isaiah 43 clearly tell you that there's only one energy that's gonna save you, and that's your ha, your breath, and your foundation. Wow, to burn this shit down, and to stand, and to rebuild, and to keep the fire burning within you. So who's your ha, wa, and who's your Mashiach, and who is Preston John? And if you say, well, Preston John is also a David, then I say, is David your Mashiach? And are you waiting for David to return? And will the scepter ever depart from David in the house of Judah? We're just uh, asking a couple questions about the Naga king, El Prestawan. But let's go. I'm going all the way, man. I mean, 
so many great sources in this book and again this is this is King Arthur stuff right this is this is authorian studies <laughs> Right here in the intro, man, it has a reference to the King Author studies, and this is the stuff that's popularized, right? You see this stuff in Transformers and this Knights of the Knights of the Round Table. We're just talking Camelot. Go ahead, man. Pause it. Read it. Pause it. And it go. All that drop, man. Let's get it. Now, William of New Burr. See how it says William of New Burr on the very top? Now, that got to be a link to some more drop. So, I know I got some reconners out there. Start reconning this William of New Burr. See, what, what we do in Drop Nation, you know? What we do in Drop Nation is we, we're like a big ass book club. You know what I mean, and research together, but we don't wait for YouTube drops and to figure shit out on, over here. We do it every single night, and we do it together, and we actually ask questions, man. We we put our recon together, and we just see what it is. Nothing's concrete except that the creator exists. After that, you gotta flow. You gotta flow. Let's go. All you know is your creator exists, and you know your redemption is real. Now put it together in between, and let's get it. So William of New Burr was a proper historian. He wrote his history of the English people at the close of the 12th century, following in the footsteps of his great predecessor, the venerable, the venerable Bede, B-E-D-E. -E. William greatly admired Bede, whose wisdom and integrity it is sacrilegious to doubt. So those are two probably great sources if if you're gonna come with the real spill. Now watch how he say everything got flipped on you. The man was to be represented for his historicity, all right? But there was another relatively new school of British history headed by writers like Geoffrey of Monmouth, which created a false genealogy of kings. Okay? So that means you're going to be waking up one day in reality, but in the illusion. You're going to wake up, and you're real, but you're in an illusion because somebody has created a false genealogy of royalty. All right, when they say a false genealogy of kings, we're just talking about a royal seed. So now there's a false royal seed. Created by who? Joffrey of Monmouth. Let's go. Look that up. Created a false genealogy, all right? A fake, a fake royal bloodline. Let's go. Headed by or uh, through the line of a certain king author. All right, so King Arthur now appears in a false genealogy, but he's based on a real genealogy, and he's based on a real story, you know what I mean? So this is what we're getting when we talk about get the babies out the bathwater, and we know that you have a foundational legend here. They got Moses as a foundation. When you see in cities pop up like Mosak, M-O-S-O-C-H, which is just talking about Mosaka in Turkey, and how they're connected with this Byzantine situation, which is also connected with the Mexica situation over here in Mexico, all the way up in Peru. So you have a clear distinction, a connection, all right? Now you have Mexiocan and the Mexican Mexiocans over here connected to the Mossocks because you have a foundational piece. Now that you've established that Mexico is literally named after Moses, Mexi, Moshe, Moshe, Mexi, Mexi, Moshe. And you got Michigan, Michio Khan, you got the Khans, you got the Kalis, you got the Karas, you got the Karians, you got the Karalines, and the Karalinas. You know, why is so much, you know, going back to the Carolinas, man, North and South Carolinas, which are just the Kara lines, and the Kara just means black, 
in, 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 in their, you know, turkey, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So when you got the cars and the Cali's, all this is the same thing, man. And now we're gonna get into the Moabs and the Moabs. And you and you tell me a difference if you see a separation between these frequencies. Let's let's just we're gonna talk today about Moab and Moab. I ain't got no notes. I'm, I'm just going off top. So you gotta take the notes for me. You know what I mean? I, you know, y'all gotta help. Help. You gotta help me organize this, man. We drop nation, man. All right. We drop nation, man. We gotta organize this, man. Holla at me. Let's go. So Joffrey of Monmouth created a false genealogy of kings, royalty through a line of a certain king author. So now you have the authorian studies, right? That's high level academia. But it's based on who? It's based on who? Believing in Prester John. Who's Prester John? Come on, man, stick with me. <laughs> Prester John is you, Negro. Preston John is you. Now, why they don't talk about this in Black History Month? Why your favorite scholar, scholar, ain't talking about an obvious priest king? Because they're not on the side of his tribe. They are all confederate against your tribe. Naga, they don't want you to know about your king. Hosea 3 and 4 say you're going to go many days without a prince, without a con, without a king. And then you wake up in 2018, you say, what? We had a king? The grand con that Columbus came to see in the Lost Tribes of Promised Land? Who say, yeah, he's probably the Israelite king across from Preston John. But why was there two cons when he got here? Why did he say that this Israelite king, who's he referring to? Across from Preston John, there was two cons, whether they were both Israelites or they both definitely seem to be Hebrew, especially if we're talking about Moab and Shem. You know, they would all be classified as Hebrew, you know what I'm saying, to some extent. So... And look, man, you're just talking shim. You're talking about a con on con, more on more war, but the more doesn't want to talk press the judge. Ain't no Moabite want to talk about press the judge. Where's my sword, Negro? That's what you should be asking. Now, another question to ask is, was Preston John riding on a horse or a dragoon? But let's go, man. Dragons on the wall. Free feeding. So let's go to uh, go to page 114. And you can pull up PDFs on this. They're just going to be you know, having them missing pages. So, uh, you know, eventually we're going to start doing, like, you know, more intricate book projects and really having like folks help us out that can scan stuff man and because these are the ones that we need to start really putting our time in and really scanning every page Ty Battle just scanned a great uh great doc man 103 facts about the about the black Indian and the western hemisphere man go get that drop on the website just go to the site man just click the site 432 com, and just click on book drop in the categories and just enjoy it man the library will be updated. I appreciate y'all patience on that. It's a lot of moving parts. I just want to put all the energy into this ramp up right now. So, you know, once I feel that's, you know, secure, we feeling we feeling good in the ether, then I'm going to go back in the infrastructure, redo our whole library, still build our, uh, you know, we're, we're building a dragon room, man, for, for all the sponsors, all those that sponsored the TDR, you know what I'm saying, ether, copper dragon sponsors, Silver Dragon sponsors, Gold Dragon sponsors. That's twenty-five, fifty, and a hundred dollars a month for those that want to sponsor what we're doing in the ether. <coughs> the dope thing is that we're going to be working together. You know what I mean? So everything that you, every dollar you give goes to the whole ether family, and that's how we're going to be doing it. So 
love to the Ether family that's been reading books, man, for free for the last three or four months. Now we got our flow. Now we got, you know what I'm saying, now, now we know the real spiel. Let's go, man. You know what I'm saying? We're one team. We're one drop. So every drop that you drop as a sponsor, a Gold Dragon sponsor, you know what I'm saying? If you a uh, Silver Dragon sponsor, everything that you put up goes towards the whole team. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to be, you know, just building together. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Copper Dragon sponsors $25 a month, but that $25 is going to go towards, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, 10, 11 people or so that's dropping in, in the ether, man, every week. So you'll be able to see us build literally together, man. Month to month, we're going to be having that coming in so we can buy more land, get our products off, and get something going, man, that, you know what I'm saying, literally we've never seen before. Being able to work together from across the plane, build literally, um, you know what I'm saying, more than one CUVs. You know, we got one 10-acre plot. We want another 10-acre plot. We want to keep building that. So these are ways that, you know what I'm saying, we've put our minds together and said, how can we put this together? We put our hearts into this. So if you're witnessing it, much of hype to you. If you ain't witnessing what's going on in the ether, then go over there and witness what's going on in the ether. And those that are supporting, you know, literally are keeping that fire burning for everybody's projects. Ty Battle's working her her poetry book. You'll be able to, able to support that, you know what I'm saying? Everyone that's just building, you know what I mean? Just just to get the exodus popping, you know what I mean? Just to get their separation popping. This is what we're building it for. So we want to be having our residual flow coming in so that we can be on our land really full time and drop it in the ether and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Just reading books to our community. We've never seen people read to our community before on a consistent basis. So we came together and said, well, how can we, you know what I'm saying, have a flow where you know what to expect? Where you know that on Monday, six o'clock Pacific, your Hanukkah to Hebrew Prince is gonna come in with that real spill, all right? To just kick off whatever, you know what I'm saying, research he's kicking off, reading his books. Seven o'clock on Monday, Caramayo comes in with Caramayo Meditations. Eight o'clock, you got Aqua Vanessa with her uh, Vanessa on the road again. Then you got the Tuesday lineup, six o'clock. KB, the hijacker Cezanne, is reading the Sefer Yetzera and teaching you Hebrew. Seven o'clock, man, you got the Templar, Urban Reed, just Templaring up, just slicing and dicing the hijack. As usual, hitting you with that platonic solids, drag and drop, everything, man. Metallic dragons, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Tuesday's flowing. Then we got a Draconology show Tuesday, 8 o'clock, where we just read dragon books and learn about some dragon secrets, man. You know, it's Draconology. We learn about the anatomy, the dragon's eye, you know what I mean? Just different things, you know what I mean? Don't worry about that. And then we got Wednesday, 6 o'clock, Ty Battle comes in in battle time. She's already on episode 16. That's 16 weeks of her reading books. She's already read the book, um... Uh, the Segregation of Israel, very hard to find book. She's now reading the book, Our Debt to the Red Man. So that's her second book she's working on. Ty Battle got two radio shows, man. So that's the Wednesday at six. Wednesday at seven, we got uh, CJ Battle with the Ether Session. CJ Battle is interviewing artists, producers, fashion designers, innovators, inventors, you know what I'm saying? All the creative people in Texas, and he's sharing it with you as they discuss, you know what I'm saying? just the real spill and the growth within themselves, you know what I'm saying? They share that with you live, a whole a whole group session, a whole group ether session with his music. Right now he's performing live at that big uh, concert that South by Southwest, you know what I mean? He's doing that live, he's dropping his music, he's, he's rallying up artists. Same thing with KB, the hijack of Sazan. He's getting the drop artists, drop producers, all the independent artists out there. If you're an independent, producer, you're an artist, we are honoring your music, we feature it live, we have a whole, you know what I'm saying, set up, man, where we just, you know what I'm saying, spin your music, spin your tracks, give you features, we just had a wonderful interview with an artist in Texas named King Champ, man, go follow King, King Champ, Champ Bayleaf, Champ Bayleaf, C-H-A-M-P-B-A-Y-L-E-F-E, -E. man, I can't believe I remembered that, man, but King Champ, man, what it do? We just had a great interview. You can check all that stuff out on the site. I mean, that's 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 just Monday through Wednesday, all right. And then you got the uh, Wednesday night, Wednesday at eight o'clock. Aqua Dees. I, I got this in my head, man. 
That's how much we've been doing it. Aqua D, man, Miss D in the copper color awakening. What it do, Aqua? A hop to you, a hop for, you know what I'm saying, all of your, you know, testimony, all of your flow, your poetry. She's kicking her ancient love songs of old. That comes in Wednesday, 8 o'clock Pacific. Then you got the Thursday lineup with 6 o'clock. With 7 o'clock, you got uh, Living Well with Brother Nature. Big Chris Battles coming in, giving you all the drop on how to live well, how to eat right. Because of the battles, I put down the meat. You know what I mean? It's been about maybe about three months now or something, man. So I've been meat free, man. Feeling great, vibrating. You know what I mean? Chef Candy's doing an incredible job just supplementing that for me, man. So love to my wife. So she comes in right after uh, Living Well. So you got the Thursday, Living Well comes in at 7. Chef Candy comes in live at 8 o'clock, dropping her recipes, reading uh, reading books on you, man. She's ready. She's already read two books. Chef Candy has already read from cover to cover, live in the evening, over the course of these last two and a half months or so. She's already read two books. The New World Dragon, Cold Was Cold, and The King's Fifth. Love to Freddie B for donating that book. So you see how we're working together, man. I mean, brings a tear to my heart bone. Man, I mean, <laughs> just, just digging on it. And don't forget Friday. Because 6 o'clock, we got a whole hour to honor Ty Battle's beautiful poetry. Ty Battle writes a poem every show. For the last three months, she's written a poem. I need you to read. You know what I mean? Do you know how many poems? Every show, she writes a poem for every show. And she ain't missed one. And on Friday, we have a flashback time battle, you know what I'm saying, poetry hour, we go back in the crates just to bring them back out because that's how many she's written. And at 6 o'clock, we got a whole hour dedicated to time battle poetry. Then 7 o'clock, we have Torah-only sessions with Con Drop. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm Con Drop in the ether, man. Go holler at me, man. Torah-only sessions with Con Drop coming in at 7, 8 o'clock, man. Hire Mark is hitting you over the head every Friday, 8 o'clock. This is what we've been doing for months. What you waiting on? You over here waiting on a video to drop? We busy. Go download the app. We building from here, man. You know what I mean? YouTube is, is, is out of here, but we're going to crystallize as much as we can on the way out. But come holler at us because we do this on a daily. And if you want to support this weekly flow we have, you can be a Copper Dragon sponsor, a Silver Dragon sponsor, or a gold dragon sponsor. That's $25 a month, $50 a month, or $100 a month instead of getting that steak dinner or whatever that you wanna, you know what I'm saying? If you got it, that's beautiful because it goes to the whole tribe. It goes to the entire TDR family. At first, we were gonna do separate sponsors. We sponsor shows separately, but there ain't no separation, man. You sponsor my show, you sponsoring their show. And we're gonna divide that every month as our residual income grows so that we can you know, motivate together. We can say, all right, cool. We can buy another plot of land. We can do this, we can do that. So this is our goal. This is our design. All praise to why. That we can be ethered up and be on our land making residual income by reading books. Because of the love and the support of all the family that appreciates what we're doing. And that's what we're building here. That's our design. So if you want to support me, you're supporting all of us. You're supporting Ty Battle. You're supporting Brother Nature. You're supporting the Templar, KB, Karameo, Yohana to Hebrew Prince, Aqua D. You'll be supporting all of us by supporting one of us. Because we are one drop. And don't forget, man, Saturday, Chef Candy hits you with another show with Zahn reading. You know, she just she's reading the Coronado Expedition, man. She already read the King's Fifth. You know what I'm saying? Love to Freddie B. She's reading the Coronado Expeditions. Coronado, you know what I'm saying? Uh, his journey through how we coo, Estebanico, Esteban, as a more, as this first black non-native to enter into the four corners to let you know it was a tribal war. Yeah, he was black, but he wasn't from our tribe. And he took women and turquoises and he was killed. Now this is the child of the sun coming in in the early 1500s. So Chef County sticking right there with that cities of gold. She's digging on Kalelu's, how we cool, and she loves it. So now she's on to the letters of Mendoza, reading the actual letters from Mendoza and stuff. So she's coming in hot, man, every Saturday 
6 o'clock, Ty Battle has another show just dedicated to crystals and oils. For a whole hour, she's literally telling you how to crystallize and choose up, you know what I'm saying? So that's at 5 o'clock Saturday. Chef Candy's at 6 o'clock Saturday. Then you got AD, the truth seeker, love the AD, who hits you with the whole hour of truth, kicking off tree drive, letting you know about different trees and uh, different, you know what I'm saying, uh, more health, you know what I'm saying, just information just off the top of his head, I mean, and just real, and just, and just real nigga shit, you know what I'm saying, AD's a real one in LA, so, you know what I mean, he just kicks, it just, it's just an hour of just the real shit with AD, I just want to call it real shit, you know what I mean, so get that hour, man, with AD, that's 7 o'clock on Saturday, and then love to Isaac Ford, man, who hits us with two hours of a frequency rehab rock mix man and just beautiful music for two hours that he puts together every week for the family just to vibrate and party have a good time on a saturday you can enjoy the music enjoy the stream and then you got sunday where i hit you with another show called survival drop if you're waiting on your survival drop you want to learn more about your tents how to sharpen knives you know what i'm saying how to put up hammocks and stuff you know how to keep a fire burning i'm reading out of uh dave canterbury's Bushcraft, you know what I mean? So I do that every Sunday. You know what I mean? Sunday at 6 o'clock, man. And then we got the whole Zion Jazz Hour. We hit you with like four hours of jazz music. Right now we got the jazz music playing, man. Hold up, man. What about jazz music? Yeah, man. This ain't no play play. Make sure you get the app, man. There we go. There we go. Make sure you get the app, man. You understand? So right now, we're in the jazz hour, man. We're in the Zion jazz hour. We're enjoying some Thelonious Monk. All praise for why. Hope you had a wonderful Shabbat. And I just kicked our entire TDR live schedule updated off the top of my dome. You know what I mean? So, you know, let's get this present, John. I'm going to fall back before I go dizzy. But now you know what you're supporting. So when you become a Copper Dragon sponsor, silver and gold, like I said, 25, 50, 100, that's what you're dedicating every month to the whole family that's reading all these books, dropping all this ether, man, health drop, um, you know what I'm saying, teaching you Hebrew, you know what I'm saying, giving you recipes. That goes towards Chef Candy's cookbook. That's going towards Ty Battle's poetry book, Sister V on the Road. And that's how, so by supporting one, you're supporting all, man. Really all for one, one drop over here. So look out for that. I'll be dropping the sponsor links this week. All right, so we'll look out for that this week. And look out for the products, man. The Who is Pressed to John, hashtag Drop Nation shirt. And the Dragons on the Wall, hashtag Free Phoenix shirt. And these hoodies, brand new, hot off the press. All the shirts are 25, the hoodies are 35. Same thing, man. And we appreciate your... Love and support, everything's included. Shipping and handling's already included in that. So love to you, man. Let's go. We just talking about what? Top battle. You just talking about who? You. You talking about yourself. Let go. You talking about the knights, the swan knights. You're talking about the swan knights and the swan boats and the ships of Solomon. You're talking about Sylvanus Ogam and the Ogam script. Love to Jackie Anthony. She dropped so much drop. Look, if you're looking for me to reply to your comments, I'm doing that live on the radio. If you don't hear my replies, it's because you ain't listening in. Maybe you ain't got the app. Maybe you ain't got the app. Look, go get the app. It's free. Our library is free. Our app is free. The drop is free. If you want to support, a high, but it's all free. Let's get it. Who is Press the Jump? Who is Press the Jump? So this might be a story that you never heard of about Genghis Khan. And this is how we're going to make the dismount. I ain't going to have you too long, but this is Press the John 35. And we did it live, man. We live, man. We lied. What'd I tell you, man? Then the smell. Nina Simone. Let's go.
chance a lot to drop here. I mean, we dropped a little on this one already, this letter. Pause it. Pause it. So it's translated. See, that's the trans written in Latin. So these are different letters from cats talking about President John. You know, these are different letters people say, man. But what are they calling them? They keep calling him King David. And now we know Genghis Khan started calling himself King David, but that's just because he's mimicking the Naga King. All right? So every time you hear Preston John, if you want an image, it's right here. Strange fruit. Blood on the leaves, real time, man. So this particular one is talking about Genghis Khan and how he called himself King David. I get a piece of this and I get to the, I get to the meat. You know what I mean? I, I get to the veggie patty. Let's go. <laughs> so the aforementioned King David. Now this is in 1221 from the Relatio of David, De David, the aforementioned King David. May God protect him, whom God protects, is the youngest of his brothers, his father, King Israel. So his father is King Israel. And then in the fine print they say that the Latin Phile Regis Israel could either mean the son of King Israel or the son of the king of Israel. Well, that's a big difference. You see how translations work? So I just said King David, whose father is King Israel. King Israel? King Jacob? Or it could mean the king of Israel. Oh! His father's the king of Israel. Let's go. Come on, man. That's why you got to get the fine print. Yeah, man. The aforementioned King David, his father, the king of Israel, had six sons, and he was the youngest of them all. With the death of his father, his firstborn brother succeeded him, and this king, just like his father, the king of Israel, and his grandfathers and great-grandfathers, was subject to the great king of the Persians, who was called Khan Kana, which means in our language, king of kings. And his land was from Kassar up into Balasagun, Balasagun, which is beyond the river, which is called, in the Persian language, the river John or they spell it G-E-O-N, you know what I mean? That's how they try to flip the J's and G's. So it's just the John River, which is the Wong, or the king, or the emperor, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we got that before. I just want to just remind you, that these King Davids are popping up right here, you know, even in the letter of the Relatio de David. He says, having, having subjugated to himself that whole land, he returned to the land called Kata, or Cathay, or Kitai. Come on, man, put it together. Pause it. We're just talking who? King David. So when you deal with the Kara Katan or Kitai or Kata, right? So you got, you know, people doing their Katas, they're doing their Katas, or, you know, their Karati. We're just talking the Kariats, remember? The Kara lines. The Kara Kate, South Carolina, North Carolina. King David and all the others who observe your law are obedient to you. I therefore ask you to send your letters and messengers to King David to instruct him to make war against the Kavar's Missan, and thus he will free us from his threats. Indeed, I know for certain that if King David begin to threaten him, that man will return to his native land without delay. Come on, man, pause it. 
All right, man. So I, I just belly flopped a little bit and uh, in this relations relatio de de v. Let's get the let me get the date again. All right, look at that date. So twelve twenty or early twelve twenty one, man. So remember, that's a few years after the Genghis Khan invasion, so that's why Genghis Khan is calling himself King David. Now let's talk about the actual story of what happened before Genghis Khan is talk, calling himself King David, like it says right here in the italics. They say this text is a Latin translation of what is thought to be a tract originally written in Arabic by a Christian in Baghdad in 1220. To 1221 but some of this material here was certainly added by Latin translators so they hijacked it of course it describes that's why you keep seeing Christian everywhere I, I skip over that because they just are gonna keep saying Christian on you and they're just talking King David all right so let's go it describes in essence the conquest of Genghis Khan but instead he is presented as a Christian king named David come on man is Solomon a Christian too so they just said that it was hijacked by the Latin translators and they had to write Christ in for it to be, you know, to take some power from it, tell their people that they got some right, that they got some energy that connects to you, which is a lie. So, but instead he's presented as a Christian king named David. So Genghis Khan is presented as David, great grandson of Prester John Stock. So we're not talking Preston John. We're not talking about the actual knight. We're talking about someone who they're calling the great grandson. But we're gonna get another story. We're gonna get another story. I mean, these are just different people's perspectives. And again, every time you hear about Preston John, we're just talking the Wong Khan, man. Genghis Khan is the great grandson of President John. So you know he's a melanated brother, right? Because he's the great grandson. So you know it's a more and more war. So is he really the bloodline or was he adopted? Was he a melanated brother from Moab? I'm just talking Genghis Khan from Moab. Spell out Moab in M-O-A-B. Love to the Templar who put this together, man. He said, man, you just talking Moab? You just switching one letter. Remember the one letter rule? M-O-A-B. M-O-A-L. Let's go to the Moabs. Let's go. Let's go, man. No more play play. Let's go to the store. Start right here on page 150. Start on 158 to 159. Let's go, man. Get all that drop. Get all that drop. Pause. Pause. I mean, this stuff's hard to get, so make sure you're pausing and reading. Let's go. Get all that drop. Get all that drop. Go. Nothing but firepower. Let's get it. Now this is from Book Thirty, Chapter Seventy, uh, on Rabanata, Rabanata, the Nestorian monk. Rabanata was a Christian monk, but however, a Nestorian. So remember, we're talking Nestor, old king renowned for wise counsel, according to etymology of Nestor. It's an old king renowned for wisdom. So they knew and over and over they keep telling you in this book that they were making these people fantasizing about them being Christians and keep putting it out there man. So no, nobody was rocking with no level of Christianity Christianity that you're thinking of, of what it is today. You know what I mean? This is just a process and ideology 
that they're trying to afford. They're trying to break through your psyche, you know, with this Zeus. They're trying to put Zeus in your life. So he was David's familiar when he was alive and perhaps his counselor. So, okay, so you got a monk who may be the counselor of David. After the death of King David, he was summoned by David's daughter. All right, we're talking Prester John's daughter, right? Prester John is invaded, they say, in 1202. Genghis Khan takes his daughters and marries them into his family. Now they have a matrilinear, matriarchal, they, they got a bloodline now connected to you. Now Genghis Khan has hijacked coup d'etat, right, hijacked his way into the Khan. Now he's stolen the title of the Amaru Khan, the American. The Khan, the Amaru Khan, is now stolen by the fake Genghis Khan, who looks like you, but he's not from your tribe. And it's popping it off right now. So after the death of King David, he was summoned by David's daughter after the death of King David, man. Come on, man. How many King Davids got the same story of having this kingdom with 72 kings paying tribute to him, you know what I mean? That's Preston John, that's King David we're reading about. That's the King David we keep looking at. <laughs> Come on, repetition breaks the spell. Repetition breaks the spell. Hold up, man. Where we at? Repetition breaks the spell. That's the king. This is King David, my people. So King David's daughter, his daughter, okay? Let's just surf the wave with me. Surf the wave with Keegan Brew. Love to the battles. And so, after the death of King David. Now, whether he really died, it's just rumors. And of course, we're talking about an immortal king. We're talking about the fountain of youth. He was summoned by David's daughter, the wife of Genghis Khan. So Genghis Khan took David's daughter and forced her into a marriage. And at that same pretext, he took all of David's daughters and did that. That's why they mixed your women, but they kept their seed, but they put their seed in your women, in David's daughters. And at that same pretext of his friendship with her father long ago, he was made, he made her counselor and confessor, and he was made familiar to the Tartars with him being in such a position only to as long as she was alive with the permission of Genghis Khan. So this monk was taken in with permission. This monk named Rabanata, right? Because she, he was summoned by David's daughter. So put it together, he's an historian monk, which means he's probably just an Israelite, you know what I mean, priest, an Israelite priest. And he's being brought in by priest king's daughter who knew him as a good man, right? And it's saying that he was made her counselor. So in order, it's almost like a deal. He's like, all right, I'll bring him in as your priest if it keeps you cool, all right? So he made her counselor, or he was made her counselor and confessor, all right? And he was made familiar to the Tartars with him being in such a position only for as long as she was alive. So she, she made Genghis Khan bring in this Israelite priest into what they're calling the Tartars, which is just more Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, or just Genghis Khan's Khan's, you know what I'm saying? All right, so she brought the priest in to, the, to Israel, but for only as long as she was alive. For only as long as she was alive, let's go. With permission from Genghis Khan, but when she died, When she died, the monk was made foreign to the Tartars and withdrew from them. So the, this priest was taken away as soon as King David's daughter died. 
However, this Rabbanata, when he was involved with the daughter of King David, was involved with the full court. And he had learned many things about the councils and acts of the Tartars. And he showed them many things by divination. Or the Most High was with him. So we have a priest who has magic, all right? On account of this, without doubt, he was at that time held to be a, a great choice. And he was seen as a saint by those who frequented the court of Genghis Khan and his bearings. So you have an Israelite priest who's known as a saint. Now, which saint is this? You know, you hear about this Saint Thomas, you know, in, uh, in South America situation. You hear about this, you know what I mean? So keep that open. Let's see. Uh, make sure we got the title in case you want to look this up. This is from the late 1240s. This is the writings of Simon of St. Quentin, man. Oh, yeah, San Quentin. San Quentin, huh? Is it named after Simon of St. Quentin? Late 1240. Late 1240. So this is the sources. Again, this is Prester John, the legend and its sources. So this is a great source material. About 100 bucks, but well worth it. If you are serious about digging on the priest king, battles really, uh, you know what I'm saying, gave us some great honor with this man, not me. <laughs> and so after King David, with all his men, had been killed by the Tartars, all right, so press the job with all his men. Let's go. After he's killed by the Tartars, right? Or that's how the story goes, right? But the Tartars are just the other Khans, or the fake Khans, or Genghis Khan. And then from Moab, let's go. Moab, Moab, let's go. And so after King David and all his men had been killed by the Tartars, as had been discussed earlier, Genghis Khan and the other Tartars boasted about these shameful acts perpetrated in the above manner. They raged with madness to such a state of pride that by the devil's instigation they conceived in their minds to subjugate the whole world. They said, we just took down Israel. We just took down Judah. We can take down the whole world. This is how the Moabites or Moabites are thinking. For aroused by the victories they had obtained over the Indies or the Indias. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So stop. Get Genghis Khan out of the Asia talk. They didn't say roused by his conquest over China. Read it, man. Pause it, man. It says they were roused by the victories they had obtained over the Indians. The Indies. So Genghis Khan conquered the Indies in the 1200s. And in the Indies, with the Indians, it's called a Negro Naga King, or the last noble image of the Indian. Now you have a Africanized, right? You, you come from somewhere else. You're a foreigner. That's not you. Genghis Khan invaded you here. Then these Moalites. Moabites, Confederacy, Psalms 83, did treaties with more foreigners to get more power that backfired for some. But let's go. We're just talking. Press the job. The night, the legend, the sources. For aroused for the, by the victories they had obtained by the, over the Indians. 
They say with God's permission, well, I guess so. You know? The sins of King David and his people driving it. Is there anywhere in your scripture where King David had sinned? Did King David ever kill a man? Did King David ever kill a man to get his woman? Was the kingdom ever divided? For aroused by the victories they had obtained over the Indies, with God's permission, the sins of King David and his people driving it, they kept the strong and warlike young men with them and reduced them to servitude and began little by little to invade and conquer the surrounding regions, Indies of the Indies, Mexico, Peru, loved the Carameo, who gave us, gave us a great doc, long title, his, his historical researches, but it has everything to do with Genghis Khan in Mexico and Peru and his grandchild, Mangu, who started controlling the Inca. If you don't get it through your thick skull, that you were just invaded by people that look like you. And that by the time the so-called white man get here, it's already a more on more con on con war. And you're reading about the precipice, man. You're reading about the nucleus of what happened. And we had to get it from these sources. We had to get it from these sources. But the one thing we're getting from these sources that's breaking all this drop about the 1200s and the one picture the only picture they give you to let you know they're not bullshit and that this is about the awakening of the Naga is you need to claim your title. You need to claim who you are. It's only right, it's only fair that you remember Hosea 3 and 5, seek the creator and David, your cop. The Black Knight, right? Who is Preston John? The sins of King David and his people driving it, they kept the strong and warlike men with them and reduced them to servitude. Naga, you are reduced to servitude. Sons of David, daughters of David, sons of Moses, daughters of Moses, sons of Joshua, daughters of Joshua. And thus men who were initially poor and abject slaves and tributaries invaded the land of the king of India, man. Pause it. I mean, you gotta ask yourself, man, is this play play? Those that were poor invaded the land of the king of the Indians. Those who had been naturally, by natural order, subject to the kingdom of Israel, now one of the richest cities of gold. And this happened, you know, hundreds of years, hundreds of years ago. Now, how long do you think it takes for the earth to boot back online again when it's been knocked off the grid? How long does it take for you to suit up? How long does it take for you to start stretching your bones again, getting your, getting your feel back? How long does it take, man? For you, to, you know what I mean? Get warlike again, because we're talking about the warlike men, right? And warlike doesn't mean fighting with your fists. Warlike means knowing who you are, because with this, you control the entire grid. With this, with this, you control the entire grid. You are the grid. You are the energy, frequency, vibration. You are the Naga. You are the priest. You are the Khan. You are the Mary Khan. We just say it, man. We just say it, man. <laughs> Who is Preston John? Huh? Come on, man. And thus men who were initially poor and slaves 
and tributaries invaded the king of India, the black knight, with God's judgment arranging it on high. They're letting you know this just happened. You're paying for your sin. It just happened. The sins of King David. Urban said a, a great point. He said, you know, it's, 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 it's a good test. It's a good tendency, you know, to look back and just adore everything about your ancestors. But you got to know you're here for a reason. And it's not a negative thing because we needed the refinement. We are fine gold, you know. Us coming back online this time has to separate us from any other time we were online. We have to be online on a whole nother awareness than we ever been. Even if we don't have our language and our magic sciences, there's something in us that's different this time. Or else what would be the point? There's something in us that's different and, and it doesn't separate us from Moses or Joshua, none of that stuff. It's just a con it's a continuing flow. So they, they did it for you now. You know what I mean? If you don't be you now, then you're not honoring what they've done. There is no past. There is no future. It's one thing. All on the same line. How do you decipher it? How do you separate it? What are you going to pick out of it? Which baby? So you're going to get out the ba bath water to create a reality. So in the ether, we say, man, come over here and witness. You ain't witnessing. You're not witnessing our reality. You're not walking through the door with us. You're waiting on YouTube. You're waiting on a phone call. We, we tribe up every night. What you waiting for? You need a special invitation? It's crazy, man. Just just flow, get with it, or get left on. You know what I mean? Most I ain't slowing nothing down for no one with pride or ego that doesn't want to flow, you know what I'm saying? We have to drop all that right now and flow. Drop it all, you know what I'm saying? No one's greater, no one's lesser. We gotta flow and be one drop. One drop, you know what I'm saying? Contribute and throw logs on the fire. That's why I took you through the whole Monday through Sunday lineup so you can see the contribution. Family come in and say, look man, reporting for duty. Let go, I'm reading this book. Let's drop it. They did that before I even shared the plan for us to get, you know, one major sponsorship going together and be one drop every dollar we share together, you know what I'm saying, with our sponsors. So they, they're just now hearing about it with you. We're just now getting to that phase of, of, of getting to that level where we're, you know what I'm saying, receiving, you know what I'm saying, that type of sponsorship and water coming in. So, you know, they did it out of their gut bone, and I watched it, and I witnessed it. I said, they'll do this forever because they love to give. You know what I'm saying? Some people just like to receive, man, and fall back. Some people like to give, you know, give everything, throw, throw all the logs they can. And that's what you're dealing with when you're dealing with the TDR. You know what I'm saying? Eat the family, man, dropping this drop on you. You're dealing with nothing but givers that they didn't do none of this for nothing. So I got to give it all back. You know what I'm saying? We got to share what we, what we gain step by step. Whether it's knowledge, you know what I'm saying, whether it's wisdom, whether it's Moneta Juno, you know what I'm saying, and our and our sponsors, we got we're sharing it all, man, because we're gonna share in our success. If you wanna share with our success, get with our flow and be witnesses. Because this is just one design, just one framework. See how it spreads. Let's go. The four three two has always been here. The four three two is you. It's always been here. So just laying it out, man. The land of the king of India was invaded. You have maps that say this is India superior. You have maps that have Memphis, Tennessee as Tibet. T-U-B-E-T, -E not T-I-B-E-T. One letter rule, the vowel switch. So if I have a map that has Tibet where Tennessee is, we just talking Memphis. And it also says India Superior. We're just talking India. The superior one, according to, you know, someone's judgment, right? 
and you have a king of India, superior, Grand Khan, and now you have a Grand Canyon or Grand Canyon with over a million two hundred thousand acres that ain't even been looked at up close or excavated. Only two or three out of the possible two thousand what they call habitation sites, habitation sites or cities have even been excavated. Three out of two thousand. And I'm just talking to Grand Canyon. And you got a bunch of lost Negroes with a bunch of lost Negro cities popping up. The king of India was invaded in the 1200s. It's real spit. You gotta let it, you know, let that wave fill you up, man. If you wanna live your life like the shit, you know, it's always been this way and it's always gonna be this way, that's cool, but we make it plan. You know what I'm saying? To be hijacked free. This is not no super cyber, you know, super plan. It's like, man, we, we just want to, you know, be on our land, man. Help us get there. Help us be on our land. Let's go. We want to be there all the time. We want to wake up on our land. We want to, you know what I'm saying, go from land to land. We want you to be on the land. Help us get there. You are Drop Nation. This is the healing do. So I'm going to get to this page right here, man, for the dismount. William of Rubruk. And in uh, part 35, man, Preston John 35, we're going to go right into these letters of William of Rubruk. Ty Battle gave me a great PDF on this, man. So poetry, books, the sisters is, is added. Love to my sisters out there, man, that are just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Love to my bros. I was just choosing up every day. Let's get it. <laughs> William of Rue Brooks. So again, this is 1253, okay? 1253. Let's get this right here. How we doing? Let's go. All right, so at the time when the Franks captured Antioch in 1098, now in 1098, the Franks look like you. And then we got the sources from uh, Love to Jesse Ben Andrews. That's a great website showing how the Rus, the Rus and the Franks rock together, man, against the hijack, fighting side by side, you know what I'm saying, at Hadrian's Wall, shutting down, you know what I'm saying, these so-called Romans. So the Franks are good guys. Remember, the French just got their name back. They just sued to get their title back in real time. A certain man called Gurkhan held the monarchy in those parts. Kaur is his own name. Khan, the name of his title, which is the same as divine or priest. Indeed, they call all divine Khan. So when you say Khan, yeah, you're saying yes, I agree, but you're saying I agree in the most divine priestly way. I agree in the most divine priestly frequency, you know what I mean? When we say Khan, you're the American. We're just saying you are that ether, that pure water. For that reason, the princes are called Khan because control of the people belongs to them through divination or the divine Hawa. For that reason, it is, look man, this is written in 1253 Khan. How is it you don't know about this? When Khan means that you're literally connected to the Creator. And when they took your titles and called themselves a Mary Khan, they say Ken, but you know, it's spelled C A N, not C A I N or K I N, right? So it's still Khan. Don't let them fool you. They say we're Cohen's. You're Khan. You're, you're stealing the Khan. You can't steal our Khan. You can't have our Khan forever, because our Khan is us. Our Khan is not an ideology, and we are not religious. We are Khans. We are the Khan dynasty. We are the dragoon. We are the fire, the water, the air. We are the land. This is natural order. You can't front on that. I'm just here to let you know. Indeed, 
For that reason, the princes are called Khans because control of the people belongs to them through divination. For that reason, it is read in the history of Antioch that the Turks sent Korkan to the king of Antioch for aid against the Franks. Indeed, all the Turks come from those parts. The Gore was the Karakatai. Alright? So we just talk Kara and Cathay and in India Superior. And we're just talking the Kara liners to see how they spell it. C A R A or K A R A or Karate. Uh, hijack free karate. You just talking about the car. Right, claim your shit. You talking judo, you know what I mean? You're talking jujitsu, you know what I mean? You're talking locks and holes and, and pressure points, man. So you talking judo, you talking judo, you talking karate, you're talking the car and the karas and the kara lines, the dragon lines, the intersection, the vortexes, the frequency, energy, vibration. Ether up. Let's go. It's about to get good for the dismount. Let's get it. <coughs> Indeed, all the Turks come from those parts. Kara is the same as black. Kara is the same as black. Katai is the name of the race. Katai is the name of the race. Therefore, Kara Katai is the same as black Katai. As they, as they call them to differentiate them from other Katai who live in the east next to the ocean, about whom I will tell you more later. In in these Kara Katai lived in certain mountains through which I passed, and in certain plains between these mountains there was a certain Nestorian. Remember etymology, old king renowned for wise counsel. That's all that means. A powerful shepherd and lord over the people called Naaman, which was a Nestorian people. When Kara Khan died, this Nestorian raised himself to the kingship, and the Nestorians called him King John. This is written in 1253. The Nestorians called him King John, and they used to say ten times more about him than was true. For in that way, the Nestorians who come from those parts make great rumors. For this reason, they allege, listen up, he's about to give all the game, listen up, man. For this reason, they allege that Sartak was Christian, and the same of Mangu Khan and Gur Khan, Gu Khan, because they have greater respect for Christians than other people. So they call them these Khan priests Christians simply because they have a greater respect for Christians according to their hijack mentality. So because they respect us, we're going to call them us. That's how a parasite rocks. Well, you have respect for us? Well, then I'm you and you're me, you know what I mean? Nah, man. What do you mean? Did they call themselves Christians? No, they're being called Christians because they, the hijack feels they are respected. Let's go. But in truth, they are not Christians. In this way, the great rumor of King John spread. But in truth, they are not Christians. Body bag. Body bag, Daniel. Body bag. Body bag for the illusion. So every time. It's a real spill, man. Break this spell, man. We gotta break this doggone fear spell. And we're gonna do it together, bit by bit, piece by piece. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. That's how important this is. I've never been the best page turner. You didn't come over here to see me turn page. They keep trying to make Preston John a Christian. You need to remember what they're telling you right here. But they are not Christians. 
These are rumors. Let's go. But they are not Christians for this reason. I, and when I crossed through the fields, no one knew anything about him except for a few Nestorians. So he didn't get no, no one told him nothing is what happened. All right. There was a certain brother to this John by the name of Ong, or U-N-C. And in the fine print, they say, U-N-C, or Ankh Khan, is the Mongolian title of Ang Khan, which is king or emperor, equivalent of the Chinese Wang. Wang Khan, or you have Hong Khan, right? The leader in question was named Tagru, Khan of the Karyats. So in this story, Presta John is the brother of this other King John. All right. You have multiple Johns, Davids. Let's go. Khan of the Karyats, a, Mon a Mongol tribe of Nestorians. All right. First groups to be conquered. First group to be conquered and incorporated by Genghis Khan. This is the takeover, man. You reading, you getting the drop. So the Karyats, Carolinas, Kara Katai, Cathay. We got maps that have Cathay over North America. Cathay is referring to Cuba. It's referring to all this drop over here, man. Before they're talking about that Asia. This is the real Asia. This is the real uh, uh, Egypt. You know what I'm saying? This is the real drop. Now. Listen very closely, man. This Ang, they're calling Tagru, right? Tagru Wang Khan. We got that before. Khan of the Karyats. First groups to be conquered and incorporated. Hijack 101 by Genghis Khan. We're talking the 1200s. It was the first hit. Taking down King David was the first move, right? But why? What happened? Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Here's the drop. Here's what you came here for, man. And we're going to put this together. Let's go. Now, beyond his pastures, beyond Preston John's pastures, nine or 15 days distant were the pastures of the Moals. Look how they spell it. All right. M O A L S. Now, what's the difference between this and Moab? Moab, remember Moab? Just think about it. Just think about it, man. Moab did a confederacy against you, and Moab did a confederacy against you. What's the difference between this frequency and that frequency? None. Not a damn difference, right? If the Moabs took out King David, and you know Israel and the Moabites were going to war already. And we, we see these treaties over here for your land of these Moabites making longitude and latitude on your land, your Hawiku, your Kalelus, your Sibola, Shimbala, cities of gold. Then you know it's a tribal takeover. And what they're calling Moals or Mongols. So the Moals are the Mongols, or the Moabites are the Mongols. Let's go. Beyond his pastors, 9 to 15 days distance, were the pastors of the Moals, who were very poor men, without leader and without faith, with the exception of the soothsayers and diviners upon whom every one of those parts relied. So they had their, their sorcerers, right? And next to Moab, there were other poor people who were called Tartars. So the Tartars and the Moabs are the other Nagas, right? The other Khans that stole the Khan. King John died without an heir, and his brother, Tagru, Wang Khan, all right? So we're picking up with Prester John right here. Prester John was made rich, and he made himself to be called Khan, all right? Dodge the hijack, let's go. And his cattle and herds were sent to the boundaries of Moab.
sent to the boundaries of Moab. You mean Moab? Where's Moab? I never heard of Moab. You mean Moab? L and the B, huh? Let's go, let's go. At that time lived Genghis, a certain worker of the Moab people. And he stole what he could of Preston John Uncon's animals in such a measure that the shepherds complained to their lord, Ah, um, Wah, Preston. So Preston's over here getting jammed up, right? A lot faster this time. Look at that. 